We have Steve Ciotti with us as uh, one of our players of the ball game. Steve, you came into this ball game, and uh, when you looked at the first half of the two, you battled it. It was 22-22. What was the difference in really opening it up against this team in the second half, do you think? Uh, we just had to be more aggressive, get to the hoop, try and get fouled, uh, step up the defense a lot, because the 22 points is a lot in one half for us. You know, when you, you take a look at, at what occurred in the first half, I felt in the first half of play, a lot of the shots that were being taken were too quick. They were, and not only that, you knew there was no one under the basket to get a rebound. They were just not, I, I've seen this play Earlier this season, we've seen it once in a while by Pensbury. And when it hit halftime, I was wondering if you guys were going to be able to just get away from that and get back to playing like you know you can play. And that's that's exactly what you did. But you got to get away from that hurrying down and take a, even an on-balance shot. Yeah, we just try to open things up, get a uh, good ball movement, get open shots, and look uh, hopefully knock down the shot. Well, it certainly was a big win for your ball club here because this team had really let only other ball clubs average 45 points a ball game against them, and you were able to put up big numbers. Not only that, they were averaging, uh, doing very well as far as that goes with almost 60 a ball game, and you held them down very well. So, you know, it looks good, and we're looking forward to that Wednesday. And hopefully, if we're lucky enough, we'll have a doubleheader with Bristol uh, winning today as well on this floor. We got something for you here as one of our players of the game. That's a hoagie. Going to be coming your way here from Landolfi's Deli in the Yardville Square, 90 West Afton Avenue in Yardley. And uh, bring that to them. Get yourself a hoagie. You. Enjoy it, and we'll see you Wednesday. Thank you, sir. All right, Steve Ciotti, one of our players of the ball game here Thanks, for them today. And another guy who was uh, certainly red hot. As, uh, when he gets hot, watch out because he can fire him away. And as we said, he's the leader in the Delaware Valley with 92 trays to lead everybody in the Delaware Valley with threes. And boy, was he feeling it there for a while in that second half to help to open things up. And when you look at it, as I mentioned to Steve, Cam, when you, you look at that first half of play, you guys 22-22, but you weren't playing your game. No, I mean, the first half, it was mostly effort. We um, obviously weren't hitting shots, but we, we know we hit shots in the second half. But effort was why we, uh, we were tied at the half there. You know, the second half of play was totally different. You guys seem to be, you know, coming down, taking the good shot, and even when you had it from long range, uh, you had to be feeling it because we knew from here that, you know, you, you, you were feeling it there after a couple of shots in a row, and you just had it going today. Yeah, um, first half I hit a couple jump shots, but second half they uh, let me open from the three, and uh, I made one, and after that it kept going. And, uh, still hot. and again, as we mentioned before, is the fact that you guys played very well defensively in this ball game, especially in that second half of play. You, it seems like when you take the lead like that against teams, when you're into that third quarter, you seem to do the job offensively as well. Yeah, when our, we get our offense from our defense. That's what we like to say. When we uh, force turnovers and pressure teams, we get out and score easy baskets, and then we get on a roll and get on a run. Okay, we're going to have something for you, Cam, here too as well, and that's going to be uh, an opportunity for a large plain pizza from Varelli's Yardley Pizza, 20 South Main Street in Yardley, and congratulations and good luck, and we'll look forward to seeing you Wednesday as you'll be in the second round. Matter of fact, you're going to be taking on uh, Martin Luther King. Uh, do you know much about them? From the, They're the runner-up in District 12 out of Philadelphia. Yeah, we. Um, I know a couple of players from AU. You got, you got two vocal players that I know of. I'm not sure who else you had, but they're very good team and uh, we got to come out there and compete. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so we'll look forward to that as well come Wednesday night. Right now, I wanted to let you know, of course, uh, as far as it goes,